to take a picture of the building so they can see what it looks like. Let's see from this perspective. No electricity or water. It reminds me of my old high school up there because they used to build them like this. It's not economic or sure they would eat all the way. So they usually make buildings up there. It's a group of artists wrapped up a day of protest in downtown Melbourne. They're trying to save old Mel High from demolition. And as Channel 9's Melanie Holt reports, the group is hoping the school board will delay a decision that would clear the way for the bulldozers. As you can see for yourself right now, Old Mel High sits in a state of disrepair, but many in this community still oppose a plan that would raise the historic building. It's a real uphill battle. Now, this is almost a done deal. Spence Guerin is a local artist who graduated from Old Melbourne High in 1959. Now he and others hope to save it from demolition. Today they staged a protest they dubbed a paint out around the Henniger Center for the Arts. The Henniger owns this property and has a contract with the developer contingent upon the school board releasing its interest in the property. Guerin hopes it won't. If the building is no, or the facility is no longer used for public use, uh, or it's vacated as the property as a whole, then it would revert back to the school board. The Henniger has offered the school board $100,000 at closing, plus a half million dollar endowment for children's theater programs to release its reverter clause. The nonprofit's director told me, Old Mel High cannot be salvaged. Estimates to renovate the 1926 building have ranged from three to five million dollars. The whole site was intended to be an arts and cultural center for all of the arts, not just the theater, which we hope remains. A developer has expressed interest in bringing 10,000 square feet of retail space and about 120 apartment units to the heart of this redevelopment area. We would like to save the building. The Brevard County School Board is expected to vote on releasing its interest in this property next week. Reporting from Melbourne, Melanie Holt, Channel 9. Way, a developer see. wants to demolish the old Melbourne High School to make way for an apartment building. News 13's Jerry Hume is joining us in downtown Melbourne. And Jerry, now a group of residents and former students are hoping to stop the sale. Beth, a battle is brewing, and today some residents are hosting a unique protest outside the old Melbourne High School. They're hoping to save this historic building, which has been in downtown Melbourne for nearly 90 years. Broken glass, boarded up windows, graffiti both inside and out. The old Melbourne High School has seen better days. The 1926 building has sat pretty much empty for decades. Hasn't been used for probably 50 years. Right next door, the Henniger Center for Arts, which owns the school building. All of the walls, of course, are deteriorated. The center's executive director, Wendy Brandon, says they've tried to restore the school building over the years, but they just haven't had the money. She says it would cost three to four million dollars to renovate it. So they want to sell it to a local developer who's been working with the city on building a multi-million dollar apartment complex. The old high school building is a goner. It cannot be saved and it will, it is the only location that makes any sense for purposes of multifamily residential. But now some residents and former students of the old high school are asking for a timeout, hoping they can come up with a way to save the historic building. Spence Guerin, a 1959 graduate of the school, has led the charge. This could be a community cultural center that could attract visitors for long-term financial benefit to the city instead of short term and you can put an apartment building somewhere else. He and others are pleading with the school board to give them more time to conduct a new feasibility study. On Tuesday, the school board will decide if the property can be used for a non-public use. Organizers are hosting a paint out today. A dozen or so artists will be painting pictures of the historic building, hoping to bring awareness and save the old high school. In downtown Melbourne, Jerry Hume, News 13. Ambassador in downtown.